it's more you get double the fucking pleasure amigo dispersion 59 dissolution above sun the gentle wind below calm the abysmal water wind blowing over water this disperses it dissolving it into foam and mist this suggests that when a man's vital energy is dammed up within him indicated as a danger by the attribute of the lower trigram gentleness serves to break up and dissolve the blockage like drain cleaner the judgment dispersion success the king approaches his temple it furthers one to cross the great water perseverance furthers the text of this hexagram resembles that of Sui gathering together 45. In the latter, the subject is the big, sorry, is the bringing together of elements that have been separated as water collects in lakes upon the earth. Here, the subject is the dispersing and dissolving of divisive, sorry, divisive, as in divisive, sorry. Here, the subject is dispersing and dissolving of divisive egotism dispersion shows the way so to speak that leads to gathering together this explains the similarity of the two texts religious forces like good times boom boom ding 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 good times ching ching these are the good times <clears throat> Right, where was I? Religious forces are needed to overcome the egotism that divides men. But I've given up watching John Claude Van Damme. It's not such a good film. So uh, we'll carry on with the King. But Jean Claude Van Damme is looking good. A bit grittier, but he's still looking good. Anyway, where are we? Religious forces are needed to overcome the egotism that divides men. The common celebration of the great sacrificial feasts and sacred texts, sorry, and sacred rites. There he is. And look, Jean Claude. Not him. Not that fucker. Not her. But Jean, let's see, let's see Jean Claude. Jean Claude Van Damage. Come on. There he is. See? Oh, Jean Claude is looking good. Anyway, where are we? Get back to the fucking verbal kung fu. Right, religious forces are needed to overcome the egotism that divides men. The common celebration of the great sacrificial feasts and sacred rites, which gave expression simultaneously to the interrelation and social articulation of family and state, was the means employed by the great rulers to unite men. The sacred music and the splendor of the ceremonies aroused a strong tide of emotion that was shared by all hearts in unison. Yes, in unison. And that awakened a consciousness of the common origin of all creatures. In this way, disunity was overcome and rigidity dissolved. A further means to the same end is cooperation in the great general undertakings that set a high goal for the will of the people. In the common concentration, sorry, in the common concentration on this goal, Start again. A further means to the same end is cooperation in great general undertakings that set a high goal for the will of the people. In the common concentration on this goal, all barriers dissolve, just as when a boat is crossing a great stream, all hands must unite in a joint task, otherwise you won't get across the water. But only a man who is himself free of all selfish ulterior consideration and who perseveres in justice and steadfastness is capable of so or is rather capable of so dissolving the hardness of egotism the image the wind drives over the water the image of dispersion thus the kings of old sacrificed to the lord and built temples in the winter Sorry, in the autumn and winter, water begins to freeze into ice. Ice, baby. When the warm breezes of spring come, the rigidity is dissolved and the elements that have been dispersed in ice flows are reunited. It is the same with the minds of the people. Through hardness and selfishness, the heart grows rigid and this rigidity leads to separation from all others. 
egotism and cupidity, or is it stupidity? I think it says cupidity. That's what it says there. Cupidity, look. Where is it? Cupidity. It's written cupidity. It says egotism and cupidity isolate men. Is that self-love? Anyway, therefore the hearts of men must be seized by a devout emotion. They must be shaken by a religious awe in faith of eternity. Stirred with an intuition of the one creator of all living beings and united through the strong feeling of fellowship experienced in the ritual of divine worship, the lines. Six at the beginning means he brings help with the strength of a horse, good fortune. It is important that this union should be overcome at the outset before it has become complete, that the clouds should be dispersed before they have brought storm and rain. At such times when hidden divergences in temper make themselves felt and lead to mutual understandings, sorry, and lead to mutual misunderstandings, we must take quick and vigorous action to, to dissolve the misunderstandings and mutual distrust. Nine at the second place means, at the dissolution, he hurries to that which supports him. Remorse disappears. When an individual discovers within himself the beginnings of alienation from others, of misanthropy and ill humor, like a play by Molière, the misanthrope, uh, or la malade imaginaire. Anyway, where are I? When an individual discovers within himself the beginnings of alienation from others, of misanthropy and ill humor, he must set about dissolving these obstructions. He must rouse himself inwardly, hasten to that which supports him. Such support is never found in hatred, but always in a moderate and just judgment of men linked with goodwill. If he regains this unobstructed outlook on humanity, while at the same time all saturnine ill humor is dissolved, all occasion for remorse disappears. Six in the third place means he dissolves his self. No remorse. Under certain circumstances, a man's work may become so difficult that he can no longer think of himself. He must set aside all personal desires and disperse whatever the self gathers about it to serve as a barrier against others. Only on the basis of a great renunciation can he obtain the strength for great achievements. By setting his goal in a great task outside himself, he can attain this standpoint. Sixth and the fourth place means he dissolves his bond with his group. The note here says literally in German, he dissolves himself from his group. Because it um, was translated by German. Anyway, here we go. Richard Wilhelm. Mm. Right, supreme good fortune. Dispersion leads in turn to accumulation. This is something that ordinary men do not think of. When we are working at a task that affects the general welfare, we must leave all private friendships out of account. Only by rising above party interests can we achieve something decisive. He who has the courage thus to forego what is near wins what is afar. But in order to comprehend this standpoint, one must have a wide view of the interrelationships of life, such as only unusual men attain. Nine in the fifth place mean, his loud cries are dissolving a sweat, dissolution, a king abides without blame. In times of general, in times of general dispersion and separation, a great idea provides a focal point for the organization of recovery. Just as illness reaches its crisis in a dissolving sweat, so a great and stimulating idea is a true salvation in times of general deadlock. It gives the people a rallying point, a man in a ruling position who can dispel misunderstandings. Now at the top means he dissolves his blood, departing, keeping at a distance, going out, is without blame. The idea of the dissolving of a man's blood means the dispersion of that which might lead to bloodshed and wounds, that is, avoidance of danger. But here the thought is not that of a man avoids difficulties for himself alone. Uh, uh, but here the thought is not that a man avoids difficulties for himself alone, but rather that he rescues his kin, helps them to get away before the danger comes, 
or to keep at a distance from an existing danger or to or to find a way out of a danger that is already upon them in this way he does what is right